Episode 28. Part A, doing the same thing over and over, and expecting a different outcome, is the definition of insanity dedicated to one of our own who is now anecdotally harmed by wood smoke. We are expecting a different outcome, by ending what is done. Part 1 of 2. We are optimistic. We expect a different outcome. If we all own PM 2.5 monitors, residential wood burning will be entirely shut down, residence by residence, soon. We know our rights as neighbors of wood burners are universal human rights, the rights of each of us to breathe clean air. If relatively clean air exists in each of our neighborhoods, under normal circumstances, with no wood burning, that is a baseline that can be measured. When residential wood smoke particulates periodically, regularly, are emitted when wood is burned by our neighbors, and those particulates, which are 90% PM 2.5, of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung and cause a cascade of health problems infiltrate our yards and infiltrate our houses, our human rights are violated. The level of particulates rises high above the healthy baseline of our neighborhoods, at the times wood is burned by our neighbors. The wood burning industry and individual residential wood burners who are sued can say, in the courts of law, what is your evidence that my wood burning emission particulates, PM 2.5, caused harm to you? What is the harm? The answer is, we don't want our sicknesses to be the proof of harm. We don't want to wait until the harm manifests itself in our bodies as illness and death, to say there is harm to us, the neighbors of residential wood burners. We don't want to sue in court after we develop an illness. We want the preemptive action of ending residential wood burning and its particulate emissions before PM 2.5 actually causes the harm that scientific studies, statistical studies, and medical studies have shown for years that PM 2.5 causes to human health. The form of the harm is detected by neighbors PM 2.5 monitors. One monitor, the Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor, is so reliable it is used on U.S. Environmental Protection Agency fire and smoke maps alongside EPA's $100,000 PM 2.5 monitors. Neighbors can own one for $249, which is one price neighbors of residential wood burners pay. What is the outcome of owning a PM 2.5 monitor if it can't be used yet as evidence to shut down a residential wood burner? Neighbors of residential wood burners keep buying PM 2.5 monitors, expecting a different outcome, expecting their data to someday be used as evidence.